right, guys, we're back, and we're going to do our last game of card charts for today. Justin has $3,000 in this run. And let's see if he can improve, uh, do better in this run than he did in his other run. In his other run, he has won $66,000. But trying to stop him is Tam Zuna. Tam, how you doing, sir? Yep. You are ready to play card sharks? Yep, ready to get my best. All right, well, we got the cards all set up. It's the best two games out of three. And we're in episode 59, so there's only one more episode after this one. And then we're going off to the tournaments. All right, Justin, this is your question. All right. Justin, we asked 100 men, have you ever been fired after less than a week on the job? How many men say yes, they have been fired after being on the job less than a week? Must not be hard workers then. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened. I'm pretty sure it's never happened to hardly anybody. I mean, of course it's happened to some, but probably not a whole lot. So let's try one-fifth. So you're going with 20? Yes. Okay, Tim, is it higher or lower than 20? That's going to be a little bit higher. A little higher? Just a little. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of men that said they have been fired after being on the job less than a week is... Nine. It is not higher. It's a little lower. Good job, uh, Justin. Thank you. All right, Justin, your opening card is a three. A three? Yes. Higher. Okay, he's keeping it higher than a three. No, it's a double. And just like that, Tim, free chance goes to you. You have an ace, A-C-E. I got one word that's lower. Lower. It's a seven. Well, free. <laughs> All right, protecting his position. And we go to another question, and it goes to you, Tim. Let's have it. We asked one of the first grade children, have you ever stayed up until midnight? How many first graders said yes, they have stayed up until midnight? Well, let me see. Not counting New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say about 40. Going 40. Okay, Justin, is it higher or lower than 40? Not too many first graders have done that, so I'm going to say it's lower. Going lower. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of first graders that have stayed up until midnight is, wow, 51 is not lower, it's higher. Really? Yeah. Tim, you have the seven showing. What do you want to do with that seven? We're going to change that dark card. All right, the seven becomes an eight. Ooh, I got to be careful, go higher. Okay, what do you say? Higher. Higher than the eight. It's a 10. Wow. I'll gamble and see lower. He's going for a lower than a 10. It's a two. Oh, I'm going higher then. For the first game at $1,000, higher than a two. Yeah, good job, Tim. That's no glory. All right. You got $1,000, Tim, and it's off to round number two. And we got the card set up for game two. And we're going to start off with you, Justin. You need this game in order to uh, be champion still. Stay alive, yes. Okay, here's your question, uh, Justin. We asked 100 third grade boys, if your parents said that you didn't have to go to school anymore, would you go anyway? How many third grade boys said they would go to school anyway? <laughs> I didn't play like school growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Who didn't? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maybe not too low a number, too high a number, uh, but it could be in the middle. Some some boys actually do like going to school, so maybe about forty or fifty. Actually, we'll make that fifty. Uh, no, four uh, fifty fifty. That's your final answer, fifty. <laughs> My mind 
was there a sound hard than anything, but yeah, let's go with that. He's going with 50. Okay, uh, Tim, high or low to 50? Well, I think you definitely got, when you're young, you got to go to school. You know, your parents could possibly face a fine for not having you go to school. Mm-hmm. So I would say just a little bit higher. A little higher. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of first graders. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong question. Sorry. My bad. The actual number of third graders that said they would go to school anyway, even though their parents say they don't have to go to school anymore, is 47. It's not higher. It's a little lower. So, Justin, you get it. All right, Justin, you have the queen. What do you want to do with that queen? Oh, I'm playing it lower. He's playing it. Okay, lower than a queen. It's a five. Yeah, I'll try it higher. Higher than a five. No, it's a four. Free chance to you, uh, Tim. You have to play off the ten. Tim, are you there? Um. Yeah, higher. You going higher than a 10? Yeah. Higher than a 10. No, it's a four. Okay. No progress, and we go to you, Tim. We asked 100 millionaires, have you ever thought that a woman was interested in just, in, wait a minute, let me read that again. Have you ever thought a woman was interested in you just for your money? How many millionaires said yes they was um, interested in them just for their money. Uh, about 42. Going 42. All right, Justin, is it higher or lower than 42? Well, if it's millionaires, then a lot of people might want to be with them just because of the money. So maybe higher. Going higher. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of millionaires that said they're interested in them for their money is... 35 is not higher, is lower. All right, Tim, you have the 10 showing. What do you want to do with that 10? All right, let's, all right, let's go higher. He's going to keep it. Oh. Higher than a 10. Yes. It's a jack. Lower. Lower than a jack. No, it's a queen. Free chance to you, Justin. You have to play off the queen. Lower. Lower than a queen. It's an eight. I'm freezing. Freezing on the eight, protecting your position. Third question, and this question goes to you, uh, Justin. We polled 100 married counselors across the country and asked them, generally, who do you think are happier, married men or single men? How many marriage counselors said married men are happier? Somebody's angry with somebody else. Hmm. Let me see who that is. Hello? Hello? Can y'all hear me? Hello? Hello, I'm still here. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. It's trying to test it out to see who was echoing. But what was the question? Okay, here's the question again. We polled 100 marriage counselors across the country and asked them, Generally, who do you think are happier, married men or married or single men? How many marriage counselors said married men are happier? Uh, that might be going around the middle. Try 48. He's going 48. Okay, Tim, is it higher or lower than 48? I'm going to go a little bit lower. Going lower. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of mil oh, excuse me, the actual number of mi marriage counselors that say married men are happier is wow, ninety is not lower is higher. All right, Justin, you have the eight showing. What do you want to do with that? I'm getting rid of that thing. The eight becomes a queen. Second queen in this deck that I would call lower. Lower than a queen. It's a four. Higher. Higher than a four. It's a queen. Lower. Four dogs. 
for the tie the game. Lower than the queen. No, it's a king. Well, you've been saved, Tim. Free chance. You have to play off the 10. Lower. Lower than a 10. It's a five. I'm going to go higher. Higher than a five. It's an ace. Lower. Lower than an ace. It's a three. Higher. To be the new champion, higher than a three. You're the new champion. Good job, Tim. That is enough. <laughs> and you have $2,000, and in just a moment, you're off to the money cards for $144,000. Justin, we hope the $66,000 hold up, okay? How many episodes do you have left? Uh, one more? One more after this one. Okay. All right. So we'll see if your score holds up, okay? All right, um, Tim, let's go off to the money cards. So I guess we can do that episode tomorrow. All right, Tim, you know how to play uh, the money cards, don't you? Yeah, I don't have to worry about hearing the rules. All right, so you know we start you off with $1,000, right? Yep. It's going to be the last game here. All righty. We're going to open up the board here. We're going to put your... Uh, face by the uh, board. No, the video is not there because of the uh, fact that I'm, I've been on almost four hours on Skype. Alright. Uh, Tim, give me a number between 1 through 52 to cut the deck. 37 again. <laughs> okay. You're going with 37. 37 worked for you before? Yep. All right, and once the cards come up, we're going to give you your $1,000. Okay, and your opening card for $1,000 is a seven. Change it with number three. All right, he's going to change the card with number three. His only change on this level. The seven becomes a ten. Ouch. All right, let's do 100 lower. Okay, going with $100. Lower than a ten. It's a two. Good job. $1,100 and a two. Now we're going to all the higher then. Sure. Everything higher than a two. It's a push. No win, no loss. You have another two. You still have $1,100. All of it higher again. Everything higher than a two. It's a king. Okay, you're up to $2,200. We give you another $1,000. And that will bring you to $3,200. And you have a king now. Let's do all that over. Okay. Everything... Lower than the king is a queen. You have sixty-four hundred dollars in the queen. All right, four hundred lower. Okay, he's not changing the card, and he says four hundred dollars. Is that right? Four hundred yep. lower. It's a six. You're up to sixty-eight hundred dollars in six. All right, change that with number one. Okay, he's going to change the card with number one. Yep. The six becomes. A two. All of it higher. Everything higher than a two. It's a three. Good job. Thirteen thousand six hundred dollars and a three. Now, do you want to change that card, Tim? No. Okay, he's not changing the card. Now, you must risk at least sixty-eight hundred dollars on this play of the cards. You all can't be. As far as I'm concerned. You're going all of it higher. Okay, this is for twenty-seven thousand two hundred dollars or nothing. Higher than three. Good job, Tim. All right. All right. Well, you're just about halfway there. You have $27,200. And I can say this, Justin, you're in the tournament now. Definitely? Yes, definitely. You're in the tournament now. All right. So you're for a third season in a row. And we're going to add the $2,000 to your total, giving you $29,200, Tim. All right. So in order for you to get into the tournament now, is you have to have $65,150. So if you manage to win a little over $36,000, to be exact, 
$35,950 to be exact. You'll be in the tournament as well, Tim. Okay, you got it. All right. All right, guys. Well, this is the uh, uh, the end of the episode of Card Sharks. Uh, this is Rodney1279 signing off. Saying be safe. Be careful. Take air, Take care, everybody. And thanks for supporting my channel because without you, none of this is possible. Goodbye, everybody. Let me get the theme here. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Ronnie, sorry to cut you off here, but I gotta step out. All right, man. <laughs> You got the music, Steve? You got the music, Steve? You got it. Production.